Hello everyone. Today we will discuss on important current affairs for 16th August. If the content is helpful, please share, like, comment and subscribe. At the end, we will learn a vocabulary word on daily basis. First one. ISRO with which institute has developed a sustainable process to make space bricks on lunar surface? Answer is Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru. A team of researchers from the Indian Space Research Organization and the Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru has developed a sustainable process to make space bricks on the lunar surface. This process enables making load-bearing bricks by using lunar soil, bacteria and goer beans and these are named as space bricks. These can be used to assemble structures for habitation on the moon surface in future. Because sending bricks from earth will cost around rupees 7.5 lakh to transport 1 pound of construction material. The process developed now uses urea sourced from human urine which could be mixed with lunar soil to build structures on the moon and goer gum is used instead of cement and finally bacteria is added to further crystallize the brick in any shape needed. Next one. The Energy and Resources Institute has launched an early warning system to predict floods and heavy rainfall in which city recently? Answer is Gauhati. Where is Gauhati located? It is in Assam. The Energy and Resource Institute has launched an early warning system to predict floods and heavy rainfall in Gauhati. This is a fully automated web-based tool which was launched in association with National Disaster Management Authority. This project was developed under the Energy and Resource Institute project supported by the National Disaster Management Authority in collaboration with India Metrological Department and the Assam State Disaster Management Authority. This tool will alert the local authorities to predict flash floods and heavy rainfall in Gauhati, Assam, by which the authorities can take early, timely and appropriate measures during the natural disaster. About Assam, capital of Assam is Dispur, Chief Minister is Sarbanan Sonowal and Governor is Jagdish Mukhi. Next one. IIT Delhi found pathogens in the waters of which river recently, which are in World Health Organization's priority list? Answer is Yamuna. Recently, IIT Delhi found a bacteria in the waters of Yamuna, which is a multi-drug resistant bacteria. This pathogen was in the World Health Organization's 2017 list of antibiotic resistant priority pathogens. It was also found that this drug resistant bacteria is a greater threat to the river waters and has high possibility to spread to humans and animals. Yamuna river is the second largest tributary river of the Ganga and the longest tributary in India. Yamuna originates from the Yamunotri glacier, Bandirpunj peaks of the lower Himalaya in Uttarakhand. Remember, Yamuna merges with the Ganga at Triveni Sangam, Prayagraj, where Kumbh Mela is held every 12 years. And about World Health Organization, it was established in 1948. Its headquarters is in Geneva, Switzerland. Next one. Which state is in the top position in implementation of Amrut scheme according to the recent rankings? Answer is Odisha. Odisha is in the top position in implementation of Amrut scheme. Full form of Amrut is Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation. Amrut scheme was launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in June 2015 with a view to provide tap water supply and sewerage connection to every household, developing greenery and reduce pollution. These rankings were released by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. After Odisha, Chandigarh is in the second position and Telangana is in the third position. And about Odisha, capital of Odisha is Bhubaneswar, Chief Minister is Navin Patnaik and Governor is Ganeshilal. Next one. Chandrayaan 2 has captured images of a crater on the moon. What is this crater named after? Answer is Sarabai Crater. Indian Space Research Organization announced that Chandrayaan 2 has captured images of the moon and named one of the craters as Sarabai Crater after Indian astrophysicist Dr. Vikram Sarabai who is regarded as the father of Indian space program. These images were captured by Chandrayaan-2 orbiter. Chandrayaan-2 was launched on 22nd July 2019. Do you remember the names of the lander and rover of Chandrayaan-2? 
name of the lander is Vikram and the name of the rover is Pragyan. About ISRO, ISRO was formed in 1969. Its headquarters is in Bengaluru, Karnataka. Next one. Which bank has launched Shaurya KGC card for Indian Armed Forces? Answer is HDFC Bank. HDFC Bank has launched Shaurya KGC card for Indian Armed Forces. This is a tricolor themed card for Indian Armed Forces personnel that is Army, Navy, Air Force and Paramilitary Forces and their families. This launch is part of the HDFC Bank's Har Gaon Hamara initiative to provide banking facilities to customers in the rural and far areas. This card is based on the Kisan credit card guidelines by the government and the users can use this card for agricultural needs like production of crop, purchase of farm machinery and irrigation equipment. About HDFC Bank, it was founded in the year 1994. Its current chairman is Deepak S. Parekh and its headquarters is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Next one. What is the module launched by Niti Aayog for school students recently? Answer is ATLAI Step Up Module. Atal Innovation Mission Niti Aayog in collaboration with NASCOM have launched the ATL AI Setup Module for students on the eve of Independence Day. It has been launched to drive artificial intelligence education and innovation to the next level in schools across the country. This step is the next step in bringing artificial intelligence to Indian classrooms and it is a successor of the AI based module launched in February 2020. This step up module will help in understanding of artificial intelligence which can be applied in the real world. And also this module needs no previous knowledge and introduces the concepts to students from the basics using interactive tools and activities. About Niti Aayog, Niti Aayog was established in the year 2015 with the aim to achieve sustainable development goals. Its current CEO is Amitabh Kant, its chairperson is Prime Minister Narendra Modi and its headquarters is in New Delhi. Next one. Which of the following Indian cricketers have announced their retirement from international cricket? Answer is MS Dhoni and Suresh Raina. Former Indian cricket team captain Mahendra Singh Dhoni and Suresh Raina has announced their retirement from international cricket. Remember, under the captaincy of MS Dhoni, India won the 2007 ICC World 2020, Asia Cup in 2010 and 2016, ICC Cricket World Cup in 2011 and the ICC Champions Trophy in 2013. Dhoni is one of the highest run scorers in One Day Internationals who scored more than 10,000 runs and termed as one of the most successful captain. Suresh Raina also announced his retirement from international cricket. Remember, recently Suresh Raina has been appointed as the Global Brand Ambassador of WTF Sports. Next one. RBI board has approved transfer of how much surplus to central government recently for the accounting year 2019-20. Answer is rupees 57,128 crores. The RBI board has approved the transfer of 57,128 crore rupees as surplus to the central government for the accounting year 2019-20. What is surplus? In simple terms, surplus is the difference in income and expenditure. The board chaired by RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das discussed the bank's operations in the past year and approved its annual report and statement of accounts. It also reviewed the current economic situation, continued global as well as domestic challenges besides examining monetary, regulatory and other measures taken by the RBI to reduce the economic impact of COVID-19 pandemic. The board also discussed the proposal of setting up an innovation hub. About RBI, RBI was established in the year 1935. Its current governor is Shakti Kanta Das and its headquarters is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Next one. Chunakkara Raman Kutti passed away recently. What was his profession? Answer is lyricist. Chunakkara Raman Kutti was a Malayalam lyricist passed away at the age of 84 with old age related ailments. Chunakkara Raman Kutti belongs to Kerala. He worked in more than 215 songs for around 76 movies. Kerala Sangeetha Nataka Academy has honored him with Guru Sreshta Award in 2015. Now we learn the vocabulary word for today. Today's word is Tha. T-H-A-W Tha. It means an increase in friendliness. Example is the peace agreement between Israel and UAE 
has formalized the ta in arab israeli relations these are the important current affairs for 16th august if the content is helpful please share like comment and subscribe thank you